Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Let's get started. Today we're learning these two phrasal verbs churn up and churn out. Let's take a closer look. There is a verb churn. It comes from this this is a butter churn. A long time ago, people made butter with a butter churn, and the verb was you churn butter. You can churn butter in a butter churn. But now we buy butter at the store. Nobody churns butter anymore. But we have two phrasal verbs, churn up and churn out. Churn up means to stir or agitate. Example, this is a tiller. We use the tiller to churn up the dirt or to churn up the soil in your garden. He's churning up the dirt with the tiller. Let's practice. Is he churning up the dirt with the tiller? That's right, he's churning up the dirt with the tiller. Now let's talk about churn out. Churn out is completely different. Churn out means to produce something in high numbers with usually low quality. For example, the movie studios churn out movie after movie. They churn out sequel after sequel. Example, the factory produces a lot of shoes. So I can use the phrasal verb churn out. The factory churns out thousands of shoes every day. Let's practice. Does the factory churn out thousands of shoes every day? That's right, the factory churns out thousands of shoes every day. So remember, if you see the word churn, they're probably referring to a butter churn. But if you see the phrasal verb churn up, it's talking about stirring up something. And churn out means to produce a lot of things. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.